your home for original reporting. I'm Stacey Lynn in Washington. Some positive news. The number of Americans getting vaccinated is on the rise. Here's White House Deputy Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre. Today we recorded over half a million new shots in arms, the highest number since 1st of July. And the average number of people getting their first shots each day is up 30 uh, percent over the past week alone. This as we learn more about the Delta variant, and it's not good. WSB health reporter Sabrina Cupid. A new document from the CDC here in Atlanta shows those who get infected with the Delta variant are more likely to have a severe case. It also says fully vaccinated people can spread the virus faster than previously thought. In fact, it can spread as easily as chickenpox or the common cold. While people who are vaccinated can in some cases still get infected, the vaccine does help prevent hospitalization and death. The Justice Department says former President Trump's taxes must be handed over. Here's CBS's Chris Van Cleve. During the Trump administration, then-Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin refused to comply with demands from the House Ways and Means Committee to release Mr. Trump's tax records. But this just-released 39-page memo from the Department of Justice's Office of Legal Counsel says there were sufficient reasons for requesting the documents, so under federal law, they must be provided. It's not clear whether Trump will continue to fight it. Meanwhile, the former president still trying to assert that the 2020 election was corrupt. The New York Times says notes from a phone call he had last year with top Justice Department officials details his demands. Loyola Law Professor Lori Levinson. In Washington, in government, it is recognized that the president has his job, but the Justice Department has their too. And they're not just there to be a tool for the president. As thousands have taken to the streets for weeks in Cuba, protesting their own government, the U.S. is now imposing more sanctions on the regime. Today's sanctions are on two of Cuba's police leaders. We take you to Tokyo now in the Summer Olympic Games. Here's CBS News correspondent Steve Futterman. Good news for several U.S. teams here in Tokyo. The American baseball team has its Tokyo debut, and the Americans beat Israel 8-1. to Also good news for the U.S. women's basketball team, which is a huge favorite, expected to win the gold. The Americans are now 2-0 after beating Japan. And the U.S. women's soccer team survives a scare. The Americans beat the Netherlands on penalty kicks. The U.S. now in the semifinal. Wall Street ending the week in the red. The Dow closed down 149 points. NASDAQ down today 106. The S&P 500 down 24. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, not a lot going on at work these days. A lot of big changes are happening. I know some of you like to watch those work videos, but uh, yeah, changes are happening. So, just hold your horses, as my grandma used to say. Things are about to change around here. But it's hard to stay in the present tense. But as the old saying goes, it makes more sense to live in the present tense. Try not to get in that future now. You'll get anxiety for sure. You get in the past, boy, that's depression. So stay in the present tense. Easier said than done. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.